Welcome back to Cardinities.org. Today we're going to be continuing our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. This is our Logic 301 series. In this video, we're going to be looking at what is set theory. Now, in the original series we did on basic logic, we were able to represent many statements using logical terms. We could say Socrates is a man, we could say no men are immortal, we could say Socrates is not immortal, using letters to stand in for predicates and subjects, and then using the underlying logic to show the relationships between those predicates and subjects. Propositional calculus provides us with a lot of ways to codify normal language, but there are many statements which are difficult or even impossible to express, at least using these tools. In the series on modal logic, we explored some of these, and how we can use modal logic to express things like time, ethics, necessity, and knowledge. But there are still sentences which we would have great difficulty representing in first order logic, <clears throat> such as, most people you meet are nice. The idea of most is something that's hard to express, that more than half quantity of the people you meet is, is something weird that we don't really have the language to express yet. Half of all natural numbers are even. This is tough because we're talking about an infinite set of things, so we can't have an infinitely long proposition, at least not yet, in an important way we understand in single in, in first order logic. Some properties are reflexive. Talking about properties of properties is something that's difficult. We've kind of fudged it a little bit in first order logic so far, but you really need something like higher order logic to do it. And there are a finite number of atoms in the universe. Once again, talking about the difference between Finite and infinity is going to take something like set theory or higher order logic to do it. In order to express these, we need either something like set theory or something like higher order logic or some combination of both. So set theory, in simple terms, is the logic that lets us talk in depth about groups of things. By adding set theory to our basic logic, we will be able to make all sorts of new statements, particularly about mathematics as set theory can represent the underlying logic of all math. <clears throat> if deontic logic is the logic of obligation and ethics, temporal is logic is the logic of time, set theory is very broadly the logic of math, though it can do much more. But set theory can provide the kind of logical foundations that can, if you add set theory to your basic logic, you can reduce all of math to that set theory. <clears throat> Up next, We'll take a look at, once again, we're starting with the basics. What is a set? Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and watch a new video every single day for the entire month of October. Stay skeptical, everybody.